Yes, my people. I told you I'll be back with exclusives. You know, the match, we still have the match time is still far away. We still have about one, two, three, about four hours to five hours before the game will start. And I promise you that any exclusives I will bring for you. Once the breaking news, I want you to be the first to hear. And that's why I'm here. <laughs> Uh, interesting things are happening as a match day. Look, me, I always want to deliver on my promises. Yes, I said it to you and I will deliver. I told you any exclusives or breaking news, you'll be the first to hear it. So long as I am alive and I'm always online and my contacts are delivering on time. You get it? So long as my contacts are delivering on time, every exclusives, every breaking news, you'll be the first to do what? To get it from here. Quickly, regarding the match tonight, we received our ears were on the ground and we got the latest update about the team lineup. Not all, <laughs> not all, but we got a hint of what is taking place right now within the team, within the, you know, the hotel room where the, the team is now right now. We got a hint of what is about to take place and we want to let you know, we want you to be the first to get it. That is what I promise you. It's an exclusive news for you. Right? Yeah. So quickly, let's go. Our ears on ground indicated to us that Mikhailo Modric will be playing from the left flank. Yes. Number 10 row, Enzo Fernandez. <laughs> on that number 10 row, I don't like it. I don't want it. Enzo is not number, a typical number 10. But looking at the squad we have currently, Enzo is taking number 10 rule. On the right flank, guess who? Guess who is taking the right flank? Kopama. Yeah, Kopama is playing from the right. Kopama is playing for the right. Get it clearly. Michael Modric on the left. Co uh, Enzo Fernandez playing the number 10 row. Then Kopama on the right flank. Who is leading the attack? <laughs> I know most of you will not be happy, including myself. I am not. I am not. I don't like it. I don't like it. But the coach knows best. Until the game is over, well, there's not mu not much we can say. Raheem Sterling leading the attack. Raheem Sterling leading the attack. Let me take out my eye. Can you see on my face? I am really not happy about this lineup. I am not. Raheem Sterling leading the attack. My dear friend, do you think we can get a ghost? Honestly, to be very honest with you, I think I saw him doing the same with uh, um, Manchester City, when he was with Manchester City. Yeah. When he was Manchester City. But as to whether he can deliver this critical moment that we are, I would have preferred Kopama even leading the attack. He's more decisive. Kopama is more decisive. He's smart in, you know, I would have preferred that than Raheem. I would have preferred Raheem rather be on the right flank, taking defenders on like he always does. Why this? I am not too sure. If this, my sources are true. Otherwise, I have no reason to doubt this front lineup. I have no reason to doubt it. Like I said, this is not the team lineup from the coach yet, but our ears on the ground got the hint of the front three or four. That is what I brought for you. Raheem Sterling leading the attack. Moidrick on the left flank. Enzo playing the number 10 row and Kopama on the right flank. That is what we got for you right now. I know most of you will not be happy about it. By the way, that is just it. And as it's an exclusive, let me give you key facts before I leave you. Key facts about today's game, about the, the today's game and the two clubs. Yes. 
And I indeed indicated to you also that William, our former player, might be playing tonight's game for Fulham. So now it's here. Key facts. Four of William's five Premier League goals for Fulham have come at Craven Cottage, including one against his former side Chelsea in this exact fixture last season. The Brazilian made three, 234 league appearances for the Blues between 2013 and 2020, scoring 37 goals and providing 33 assists. Fulham are winless in their last nine Premier League London derbies. They drew four draws and lost five since beating Chelsea 2-1 back in January. Hmm. This will be their fourth derby already in 2023-2024, losing their first at home to Brentford 3-0 before drawing at both Arsenal 2-2 and Crystal Palace 0-0. Chelsea, on the other hand, <laughs> have failed to score in each of their last three Premier League matches, despite attempting 45 shots, 15 per match. You can just imagine. With a total expected goals tally of 5.5 in this run. The Blues last went four league matches without scoring in September 2007. That was the last time we went four matches without scoring a goal. Would today's game equalize that number? Chelsea lost this exact fixture 2-1 last season. Only once before have they ever lost consecutive away league matches against Fulham. Doing so in April 1977, while in the second tier. <laughs> that is a much fact, you know. All right, what are, is the manager, the two managers, what were they saying about this match? What has the manager said, both Fulham manager and Chelsea? Yes. Marco Silva, of course, they Chelsea haven't started the way they would like. Since Mauricio Pochettino came in, he's trying to get the things in the right direction for them to fight for titles. Like they want to be. But really, that's not the most important thing for us. We will look for ourselves. That is what Marco Silva has said regarding the match tonight. Yes, and let's hear what Pochettino also said about the match. Mauricio Pochettino, it's really important the victory 1-0 EFL Cup third round win against Brighton. Yeah, because it gets us to the next round. But also for the trust and to build our confidence. It was another very solid performance which we translated into a victory, which the players needed. The team needed, needed and the fans also. I'm happy the effort was fantastic from the team and now this situation can make us stronger and give us confidence for Monday, which is today. So the last match that we won in the EFL Cup gives us confidence for today to face the Fulham at where? Craven Cottage tonight. This is what the two managers have been saying or have said regarding tonight's game. Your opinion, I want to hear from you about the, for the lineup I gave you, the upfront, the four, the attack, our striker, Raheem Sterling, Modric on the left. I have no problem with Modric. I'm happy for Modric. I'm happy for Kopama. I would have wished that Kopama would play the number 10 role. But right now, this is what our ear on the ground had. And we come to deliver to you as exclusives. Hey, when the major team lineup is out, I'll be here and I'll deliver to you before the game kick starts. Before the game starts. So expect me to deliver for you one hour before the game starts. Yes, I should be here. I'll see you when you see me. Shalom and peace.